the red one has embroidery all over um, this is quite in the style of a gara now gara is the gujarati word for sari however over time it has become associated with the clothing of the parsi community parsis are zoroastrians who have settled in western india largely around gujarat bombay etc and singapore too has uh, a parsi community dating back to the 19th century now um, the gara sari if we were to look at parts of it um, the part that's draped over her shoulder is called the pallu or the pallav the part that's draped over her head the sor and if we look at the blouse it's called the badan now this one is quite interesting it has paisley and floral motifs all over um, the gara sari could also sometimes just have an embroidered border called a core instead of embroidery all over the drape is a south indian silk with a silk border you know a zari border and it's draped not in the perfect style of wearing a sari today but you know when uh, back say in the 19th century or the early 20th century even you know women were wearing this day to day and uh, you know it, it's not like each pleat is perfect but it's actually worn keeping in mind comfort so it's more of a loose drape also you know back then they would probably tie the sari itself rather than have a petticoat inside so you know it does have a bit more of a fuller skirt and you see that here